So Teddy, I've had you for two weeks now. What do you think? <laughs> uh, he just went for a pretty long walk. One of his longest yet, so he's uh, a little tired. But we'll see how long that lasts because when I start talking, he gets active again. <laughs> um, so this week, after two weeks, he's really starting to get the, uh, the down command. And uh, he knows sit fairly well. Uh, I am trying to start teaching him how to speak on command. Uh, the toughest part is trying to uh, get him to bark. And usually the only reason he barks is out of frustration when he doesn't know what to do or he wants my attention. Uh, I can't get him to bark by knocking on things, so we'll figure it out. Uh, you can see he's, uh, the whole house is pretty much a mess with uh, his toys in pretty much every room. There's the timeout area back there when uh, he gets too riled up and too nippy. I put him in there for about 10 to 20 seconds and then I take him out and uh, usually he has to go in there like two or three times before he actually settles down. Uh, last night he actually, um, as I have a, I go through the same thing every night when we go to sleep is uh, you shall turn off all the cords and stuff there and then I'll start doing the dishes and then I'll take them out and uh, and then I'll put them in the uh, he's got a, a crate back there last night I went to go look for him and he was already in the crate so he's uh, he's starting to get the uh, the process down so I'm just trying to make sure I do the sa same things every night uh, around the same time. Uh, and mainly just trying to keep making sure he goes out to the bathroom constantly uh, so he doesn't go inside the house. So uh, we have neighbors with dogs on both sides. Uh, the one neighbor over there, um, they have family over for Thanksgiving and they have an extra dog right now. And everybody likes to bark at this guy. Uh, he usually tries to tug on his leash when I go for walks with him. And he'll bite at it. And he just doesn't want to move. But uh, the last few walks, um, he's actually been very good at it. Uh, part of it is me just trying to be in a hurry. But given uh, yesterday was a holiday and today's holiday, I'm mainly just taking my time. Uh, I usually just don't, uh, well right now I'm just standing there waiting for him to move along. He doesn't really uh, react well if I just uh, tug on the leash a little bit. But uh, it depends. I've been trying all different sorts of things. I've tried spraying apple fitters on the leash and it, he sees it as more of a game. And if I don't play the game... Uh, then he starts uh, sniffing around and then eventually he'll start coming along the walk. Uh, I don't like, well, basically what I do is I stop if he starts tugging. But uh, things get his attention, like the neighbor's dogs. <sighs> He's so tired. It's tough making breakfast with this guy because he'll bark at me. Because uh, he wants to play before I make my breakfast. So, uh, I try playing with him a little bit, but I'm hungry. This guy, uh, he gets priority of everything. Uh, he wakes up at 6. Well, he wakes up when the sign comes up, and uh, he'll start uh, making noises or, or crying if I don't get up. Uh, so, it's like, great, fine, I'll get up. I get up like three hours earlier than usual. Sometimes four hours, depends. Because I'm used to sleeping in on the weekends and days off. Isn't that right? He goes on plenty of trips to the pet store. Uh, you can see we got all kinds of toys. And I keep alternating between the pet stores that I go to, between the Pet Smart and the Pet Co. And everybody loves to see this guy. Um, He's a magnet. Everybody stops and 
you know, they'll ask if he's a corgi or what kind of a dog he is, where I got him, uh, how much he was. Um, there's just all kinds of questions. How old is he? Uh, what kind of shampoo I use? Because this uh, fur is so soft. Um, yeah, and it's just uh, everybody loves to play with him and pet him. And that's the goal. That's that's more or less the reason I go to the pet store is I want him to get familiar with uh, a lot of people. It's more or less the uh, social aspect. Um, I haven't had him meet any dogs just yet. So I'm waiting until uh, after his shots before um, I let him start getting close to dogs and his shots he gets a shot next weekend so it's only a week uh but i i feel like i'm in the middle of this um this risk area taking him out but uh given that uh he's at this age is the best age to get him socialized there's like a lot of um uh, debate on the internets and such of when you should take the puppy out to socialize versus when it's safe to socialize. So um, right now I'm staying away from parks, no dog parks for this guy. It's mainly uh, he walks around the neighborhood and he walks into the pet stores. And I also take him with me when I go out and get something to eat. Like if I go to a drive through at McDonald's or something, I'll always bring him in the car, uh, mainly just so that he gets used to being in a vehicle with me and that he won't give me trouble later on down the road. Uh, I don't want to have him being in the car only to go see a vet, because <laughs> that would just be too negative experience and uh, a bit tough for him uh, riding over I, I just want to be comfortable and I, I'd have I have this idea I'd like to go traveling a little bit and I'm trying to feel out if it's uh, something I can do with him or not but that's uh, kind of a long term down the road uh, but yeah he's the crates part of that plan he's getting really used to that crate and that's also part of the um, house training plan uh, he's been chewing up on these rugs you can see like he's chewed up there and I cut it with scissors and spray it with apple bitters. Um, honestly, I don't care about the rugs. Uh, but, see there's uh, another one right there. The rugs I mainly got to for him to have traction and to help protect the floors and maybe absorb some of the, uh, the barking sounds if it gets loud or not. But, are you starting to wake up? Here, bark, speak. It's very hard for me to train him to speak. But uh, after I get him to speak, I get to train him to be quiet, which is really the, the trick I'm really after. Because uh, sometimes he starts barking on his own, and I'd like to be able to get him to stop and be happy about stopping, but also give him an outlet to bark. Bark, speak. Can you hear the, can you understand the words coming out of my mouth? <laughs> it's like, I'm tired. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. We'll probably take him to the pet store again. Do you want to go to the pet store? Pet Smart? Petco? I don't think he understands the words yet. But uh, when he gets in the car, I think he'll be a little bit excited. All right, so, you know, this is Teddy at two weeks old. And uh, I don't have a banana, but here's a hand for comparison. <laughs> oh. I think somebody wants his belly rubbed. 